I mean, some people say, well, I can go to the store and I'm going to go buy a blank journal and I'm going to hand write in it. Great, go for it. It's a great exercise. You're going to benefit from writing out the text any way it goes. But some of the, some of the limitations we were finding is that the text itself, the paper that the, the, the journals are made out of, was really kind of cheap. It was really thin. It, was, it wasn't opaque so that you could see through it. The pages actually tore. And a lot of times, the binding that they used was just glue on the seams, which meant if you really worked the book for a little while, it started to fall apart. And not only that, but sometimes you would go out and you would buy a book and the book would have 150 pages and you're going to hand write the book of Proverbs and you needed 170 pages because the way you write. And of course, you don't realize that until you get to chapter 23 and now your book is useless. So what we did is we set out and we started to go through the book and you can see that on the right hand page, I would like have like the chapter that you're in and the verse numbers that are going to be on this page. And then we actually went through and created the gaps for each verse in the Bible. And we ended up handwriting them ourselves, figuring out what would be a good space, how the verse is going to read out well, whether there's some punctuation in there that might be special so we need an extra line, uh, whether a different translation even needed extra lines versus what you may want traditionally want to do. So we hand wrote them started creating the gapping, and then created that as our key from which to run this page. And then on the left-hand side, if it's if with anything else that goes on in the text, we're trying to encourage people to not only write the text, but when you have questions of the text, learn to ask some good questions, and then also learn to come up with your own questions and write them down, and your answers, and what you're doing, what you're doing in your group. So we left the whole left-hand page of every flat surface is sitting there waiting for you to write anything you want. Uh, we've also used the left-hand page for not only me as the person scribing my book, but what we really encourage people to do is to, to let somebody else write in your book, especially in the books of like Proverbs and James, where you can have a parent or a grandparent or a pastor to have an opportunity to write here on the left-hand page something to you as the scribe, something that you can keep in the future as your legacy and something to learn and encourage you in your, in your Christian walk. Now, I notice as you're holding that up, there is a question already there. Um, could you explain that, that, how that works out? Yeah, we, we were trying not to have this be a commentary on the text. We really wanted to stray, um, stray away from that. We wanted to make sure that we focused on the whole thought process that it's you and the text. We want the Word of God to dwell in you. We want the Word of God to work in you. We want you to be able to focus on what is, what is God saying in His text. But what we also wanted to do is give a little bit of help and a little bit of direction saying, hey, these are the type of questions you should ask. And sometimes it's just a word. You know, if we come into the word propitiation, well, you're going to probably see it handwritten already on the left-hand side of the text. It's very light. It's screened back. So if you wanted to write right over top of it, it would disappear. You'd never notice it. But what we're encouraging is a person who's writing out the text over here, they should probably define the term. And, and a lot of the times, the words you'll see and the questions you'll see over there, they aren't really obvious or really easy. It should take a little bit of work. It, it should be something for you to sit back and say, yeah, I'm not quite sure if I can define that. Maybe I should go find another book and get that answer. Really trying to help you not just finish writing the text, but to start model, help you think better about the text.